Hello there, and welcome aboard another episode of Rule the Waves 2 is Great Britain. As you can see, we have a epic fleet battle about to unfold. We've already sent off our initial uh, airstrikes, have been launched at uh, German fleet elements somewhere in this vicinity. We've sorted a number of strikes scattered all across this region, and we will see what sort of stuff we encounter. Uh, in the meantime, with those strikes heading out, uh, there's not a whole lot left for us to do other than uh, just cruise in the uh, right direction and hope that... Uh... Hang on, what are you guys doing? Yeah, we're just going to cruise in the right direction and hope we uh, successfully encounter the enemy. But for right now, I want my carriers heading towards the uh, scene of the fight so we can get more stuff in range. So let's get that going. And we'll see what kind of action we can get into. I'm going to pick up the pace on our southern battleships. So that hopefully they're able to get into the fight as well. Uh, it looks like some of our scouts are starting to head home. Oh, and here we go. A little bit of air combat. Uh, two enemy fighters are attacking one of our recons. Hmm. Probably in this general area. Well, hopefully they're okay. Well, I didn't see that he got shot down. And here's our first major report. 14 Vickers Martlet approaching enemy ships. And there goes the attack. Torpedo bombs going in. One aircraft damaged. And we've got a hit. Three more. Torpedo bombing a uh, destroyer. Not the uh, best selection of targets there, but hey, I'll take it. Then we got five more torpedo bombing a battleship. One hit. And another hit. Outstanding. We're already starting to drop hits on them. And looks like one of our airdrop torpedoes continued on and hit another ship. That's not very common, but it does happen. Ooh, interesting. We've got a report of three battle cruisers. To, our, uh, to the north of the Juggernauts. So let's accelerate to attack speed and see if we can catch them by surprise. Oh, interesting. So there is some sort of force in this vicinity, but it looks like a number of them are down here. So I'll bet they're down south is their uh, scouting force and to the north is their actual battleship force. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> 11 battleships, 6 cruisers, 5 destroyers. Sounds good to me. Let's see. We've got our recon out front. We've got our battleships heading in all the right directions. And it looks like they're heading south as well. So let's turn uh, south to try and intercept them. All right. Do so we want to launch search planes? You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll send out another wave of reconnaissance. Uh, we also should take a look and see if we have any more uh, torpedo strikes ready. Uh, the Invincible doesn't really have anything right now. Uh, Impermeable has nothing, and Indomitable has nothing yet. I guess they still need to come back. Carrier Division 8 has already sent off their stuff. What about Carrier Division 11? Yeah, already sent off their stuff as well. Okay. Sounds good to me. We've already sent off our stuff. Catapult launch from Juggernaut? Yeah. All right, there we go. And I have my first report of a uh, enemy ship sighting. We're already up to speed, so we'll just turn towards them and see what we find. Uh, 
Anything over this way? Nope. Nothing yet. Alright. Well, those are moving pretty fast. And we lost sight. The weather is not exactly great. And here we go. We've got another spotting report to the north. Alright, let's accelerate to... Uh... Wow. 22 knots. That's not great. Not great at all. Rodney, Iron Duke, Collingwood, and Revenge. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to pick them up to 28 knots and leave the uh, slower ships behind. Unfortunate it may be for those ships that fall behind, but they're the ones who are too slow. Oh, enemy aircraft approaching Great Britain Destroyer Division 17. Let's see, what do we got? Division 18, Division 20, Division 21, all spotted by enemy aircraft. And Destroyer Division 21 is not here. What about down south? Yeah, I think those guys are okay. Yeah, I want my carriers getting as close to the uh, front as we can so we can get those strikes turned around quickly. Where was that destroyer division? Okay, that's probably this group over here. One of these groups to the north here, that's for sure. And uh, let's see, what are these guys doing? What is this guy doing? I think uh, we're going to tell the Inconsiderable to form on that other battlecruiser division. Yep, that's the Indivisible, and we want her on core. Okay, and I want these guys. I'm going to take manual control over you. There we go. Squad max, and we'll turn you guys south so we can get into the fight. We want to get into the fight while we can. Do the damage while we can while it's still day. Oh. We've got more dive bombers heading out. Interesting. Three enemies attack. Damaged, damaged, destroyed, damaged. And no hits. Sounds like things did not go well for them. And that is a group of something. Well, we'll turn towards them and continue chasing. And we'll focus on the uh, fight to the north here for a little bit. Identified battle cruisers. Okay, so we do know what that group is. Do we have our planes back yet? We should have some strikes heading home. Don't see anything reported as returning. We got one group landing. Okay, quick review. Carrier Division 5, nope, nothing yet. Looks like they're still mostly out and about flying. Okay, we've got enemy ships firing at us. Don't know what yet, but they're here and they are shooting. And those are definitely hostile. Well, let's start accelerating. Do we have any other... Yeah, we don't properly have line of sight on them yet. This foul weather is definitely hurting us. 
But what can I say? It's the North Sea. Foul weather is a staple of the scene. How are you guys doing? We're only up to 25 knots. That's not enough. How are you guys doing? Up to 26. Yeah, we need to get up to speed. Well, at this point, we can start dropping the game speed down so I can actually control the two separate actions here. I'm pretty sure that these battle cruisers are going to get away. So at that point, we're going to leave them be. We're going to try and focus on the uh, main enemy fleet. Oh, wait, hang on. We've got a few gunshots in that direction. Although well, nothing too significant yet. Looks like the enemy has turned around. And there is, here we go, we've got a main site on the enemy battle fleet. Enemies are sp spotted and confirmed. Let's see if we can get our battle cruisers in position. Properly cross their T here. Oh, yeah, and maybe some of those torpedoes might even hit. Oh, it's looking so good. Yep, nothing yet, nothing yet. And there we go. We've got another hit. And that was a uh, naval torpedo, or a ship launch torpedo. Much heavier. Should do quite a bit more damage. Okay, their battle cruisers are retreating. And I'm concerned about torpedoes from those light cruisers here, so let's turn back. We'll take some evasive action there so we don't get shot up too much by their uh, torpedoes. And actually, we'll just steam to the north and try and get the uh, enemy battle line surrounded. And torpedoes away from our destroyers. Ooh, and Collingwood just got hammered. How's she doing? A lot of flotation damage. Not too much flooding, so hopefully if we just detach her, she'll be fine. Okay, so Collingwood, manual control. Reduce speed, we'll go with eight knots. And I'll give you orders to head back home. Yep, revenge cannot keep up with the division. Yep, we'll detach her. Oh, come on, no, no, no. I want you. Well, you'd, you're okay for now. How are these guys doing? They're doing okay. We'll turn them back to the north, keep our broadsides on them. How are things going here? Seems okay. I wish my cruisers were out front where they're supposed to be, screening off enemy cruisers and destroyers, but what can I say? Being a cruiser is a tough life, especially when you're an AI. Where's our screening force? Why are you guys going in that direction? I am so confused. Okay, I'm taking manual control over you guys and putting you in a sensible direction. Like, you know, between my battleships and the enemy destroyers. So we don't get torpedoed again. Although I'm fairly confident at this point that the enemy battleships are in quite a bit of trouble. And I actually want these fellows heading north. Not you fellows. I want my battleships. There we go. 
Okay, we're taking manual control of you guys and sending you up north. And... Oh, wonderful. All these other battleships are not going... Well, actually, it's okay. They're escorting my carrier. So that is fine. And more torpedoes coming in. Hey, hey! Finally, we've got some more uh, aircraft approaching enemy ships. How are these guys doing? They're doing okay. Um, I'm actually going to cut the... Oh, hang on. How's Rodney doing? All three turrets knocked out. Or at least disabled. That's not good. How's Iron Duke doing? She's doing fine. So I think we're actually just going to hold our position for now. Oh, Cap attacking Scout. Torpedo bombing enemy cruiser. Nothing too significant. Yep, nothing too significant up there. See if we can get some more damage on the rest of their battle fleet. Oh, there we go. Get some torpedo hits on their battleships. And I do believe that those were... Actually, it's hard to know. But our airstrike is our airstrikes are going after the uh, enemy capital ships in this general area, so there we go. Getting more hits. Yep, that's the one that they attacked. Outstanding. Or I believe the appropriate term is splendid. Oh, nope, don't want to be turning this away. There's a bunch of friendly torpedoes there. It'd be very embarrassing if we ended up driving directly into them. I'm not quite sure what the indivisible is doing. Okay, those guys are going okay, and... These fellows are doing a terrible job of staying in formation. Although, Rodney is significantly... S okay. Iron Dukes need to turn around. Let's get you guys out of here. We got too aggressive too early. There we go. Torpedo on the Graf Spey. It's a nice looking ship. Plenty of turrets there to blow up. And looks like our Fabulous is going after the Braunschweig. Ah, Fabulous. Two more torpedo hits. Anything else we can do? Three more torpedo bombers going after Cruiser. Uh, well, we are definitely doing damage to them. This is good. Let's try and get the Juggernauts up to this fight as well. They should be at speed by now. Where's the rest of our uh, carrier force? They have probably been all manner of scattered and confused by recovering planes. What time is it? 14, almost 1500. We should still have time for at least one more strike. Okay, so we're going to start readying that up. Carrier Division 5 uh, has not recovered anything yet. Carrier Division 8 also has not recovered anything yet. Carrier Division 11 also has not recovered anything yet. Okay, well, uh, looks like we are... don't have a whole lot of strikes left. Ooh, Iron Duke rudder damaged. That's not good. Rudder jammed port. Oh, that's really not good. Well, hopefully we're able to get out of there. Alright, destroyers, go defend. And hopefully we don't end up losing two of our biggest, most modern battleships. A 
Meanwhile, the rest of our formation seems to be doing fairly well. Let's bring the revenge around to provide some cover. Oh, collision destroyer Mystic has rammed a uh, German destroyer. Oh, that'll show them. How's the Mystic herself doing? Still intact, still able to move. Slightly. Sounds good to me. How are these two doing? Not good. How's the Iron Duke doing? She is also on fire. Let's try reducing speed here. That'll free up some of our crew from the engine rooms to go fight fires and do other stuff, and also hopefully repair that uh, rudder. There we go, 19 Vickers Whirlwinds. There we go, that's some of our uh, land-based aircraft approaching anything. V1 class blows up. Good riddance. And good job, Mystic. It looks like Sandfly is on a mission. They are scattering before her. So I think we can safely turn Sandfly back around, so hopefully she'll survive to fight another day. This poor Zaringan is pretty much out of the fight. Yeah, 1915 battleship. She's not up to that. Then we've got the Gneisenau. Oh, very modern looking ship. Actually quite nice. But uh, she's not doing too well either. Let's turn you guys in. How's Revenge doing? Looking good. We'll try and get the Revenge in to provide cover here. How's Iron Duke doing? Well, she's got a gun turret back, so that's something. But she's completely lost another one, and she still has that rudder out of control. Alright, patrol boats are level bombing enemy destroyer. What an excellent use of our bombs. Yep, going after more destroyers. Looking good so far. Oh, honestly, I'd rather concentrate fire. Well, let's see how we're doing here. Koenig Albert is down to 15 knots. Kronprinz at 15 knots. Looks like they've just been losing speed due to maneuvering. All of their ships at the tail here are definitely in trouble. Hessen, Graf Spey, they're not looking good. How's my battlecruisers up here looking? Okay, Impassable is down two turrets, although they're just disabled, so hopefully we'll get those back. Imponderable has completely lost one turret, and Inconsiderable is also not firing. How's our ammunition supply? Actually looking okay. How are you doing? Still looking okay as well. How's the Indivisible doing? Doing okay. I'd prefer to see your guns actually pointing at the enemy. But at this point, I will take what I can get. Oh, and it looks like the Revenge has decided to reattach to the Iron Duke. All right, let's hoist the flotilla attack order and try start sending our uh, destroyers in on an attack. Probably be a little bit before they actually start doing anything, but hey, every little bit counts. And I do believe that this will be the last major ride of the German Navy. Enemy ship Zaringen takes a uh, torpedo. That's good. 
she's already pretty much sinking quite confident in that but now it's certain not seeing any more significant hits here Turn these guys around. I'm seeing the destroyers launching plenty of torpedoes. Fantastic. And our torpedoes seem to have no issues triggering on uh, enemy capital ships. Yep, and there goes another one. Let's see, what's this guy doing? Reporting heavy damage. Okay. Ooh, Rodney is doing it very bad. I'm actually going to order her to halt and hold fire for now. How's Iron Duke doing? Also not great. So I'm going to detach her. And we're going to take AI control and we're going to order her to halt as well. So it would be very embarrassing if we lost both of those ships due to poor handling on my part. Alright, we'll get the revenge turned back around and start getting her guns into the action. And Juggernaut and Leviathan continue to race north. They should be joining in the fight soon. Also, that reminds me, uh, I do believe I was readying up some strikes. And that's looking ready. Okay, priority target battleships. We'll send the strikes over this way. Yeah, there we go. And launch strike. So that was from Carry Division 21. Carrier Division 5 has not recovered anything yet. Carrier Division 8 also not recovered anything yet. Carrier Division 11 also not recovered anything yet. I have no idea what's taking our uh, strikes so much time to get back. Unless, oh, they're still searching the areas that we told them to. They went beyond the battle fleet. On the one hand, I'm glad they're able to do that. On the other hand, I am kind of annoyed. Also, the uh, poor weather might be uh, hurting them as well. Enemy aircraft approaching Great Britain Destroyer Division 17. That sounds like a Destroyer Division 17 problem, not a me problem. Except that uh, they, instead of targeting the Destroyer Division, they go after the Juggernaut. Okay, and near miss. Hit <laughs> radar disabled by own guns firing. Float plane launch delayed by mechanical fault. Yep, those are things that happen. Quite real. Quite believable. Alright, let's see if we can uh, do anything else here. Well, our uh, juggernauts have targeted the enemy and they have opened fire. Destroyer Matchless is hit by a torpedo. On the other hand, it also looks like she is launching all of her torpedoes. So, uh, yeah. You do you. Oh, those beautiful looking spreads there. Nice launch. Pretty sure that Ganiza now is well and truly dead. Zaringan is down. Other ships back this way are definitely going down. How are these guys doing? Ooh, Rodney's spread up to level 6. Iron Duke is up to level 4. Oh no! Revenge, let's open up your broadside as well so you can bring... Aren't closing too fast. Fire Drake has reduced speed. Well, that's surprising. You're not the one who took the torpedo. I was matchless. All 
All right, Indivisible, let's bring you back down. Let's bring these guys back around as well. Continue attacking from long range. And, oh, what are you guys doing? Open that broadside and start shooting. And don't get so close that they're cut through your armor like butter. Quick check of my aircraft here. I know we're still trying to get those. Uh... Oh, that's cap. Okay, it looks like we're finally starting to recover some of our strikes on the uh, escort carriers. Oh, watch out. That was not what I intended to do. All right, let's bring these guys, open up those broadsides so we don't go charging into suicide range. And we'll want to do the same thing with the juggernauts so that they don't get in too much trouble. Actually, let's try cutting straight north, see if we can gauge those battle cruisers. Okay, momentary pause, double check our target selections, looking good, looking good. Oh, nobody's going after that Vondertan, which is unfortunate because at this range, even those 12 inch guns can do a quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to tell uh, Indivisible to do something about that. Let's see about setting the specific ship target here. Because it is specifically the Vondertan that I want. There we go. And let's turn you away so that you don't get me into too much trouble. Looks like our older battleships are doing a plenty good job sweeping up the uh, enemy down here. Now it's just these battle cruisers left. Okay. Keep chugging right along. Keep dropping those heavy caliber hits on them. What ships are you guys targeting? Oh, don't go wandering right into their gun sights there. That was totally my mistake. Okay, you guys are concentrating on that. You guys are doing just fine. What's the Inconsiderable doing? So I've got three ships targeting the Hindenburg to the north. And I've got... Okay, these guys are doing okay. But I do not like what that uh, Vondertan is doing. So we're going to turn away just a little bit. How's Revenge doing? Looks like she's got all of her turrets knocked out. She's still holding things together, so that's good. How's Rodney and Iron Duke doing? Okay, looks like Rodney's getting stuff under control. She's down to level two. How's Iron Duke doing? Yeah, she's also getting stuff under control. Excellent. There we go, getting more torpedo hits on the enemy. Uh, let's actually turn my battle cruisers a little bit more aggressively. 
Oh man, look at those secondaries just absolutely shred the Vondertan. Oh, when you get that close, of course it's going to do some damage. Even 5-inch guns are enough to go through old armor. Especially a Vondertan with, well, 9.5-inch, that's still pretty good for main armor belt. But all the upper works and structure and gun turrets, yeah, they're not designed for that kind of firepower. Not that level of uh, fury. Hold on. I still see enemy ships moving. Let's turn you guys around. Let's turn the indivisible south as well. And let's target you on something else. There we go. Those guys are still moving, so those are a legitimate target. Same thing with those. How's this Hindenburg doing? Heavy damage on fire, 10 knots. Yep. Good. How are we doing over here? This guy's also heavy damage on fire. Yeah, let's start turning back. Leave those light forces to their fate. And focus on the capital ships. And I saw enemy dive bombers back here. Oh, that's not so good. What are these guys doing? Benville, Goliath, Hercules, Hannibal. Well, it's okay as long as they're contributing their AA fire for now. Do we have any more? Yeah, these guys are way out of the uh, fight right now. I think they've been so busy worrying about cap that they haven't been able to do anything effective. Okay, it's 1600 right now. What time is sunset? One hour, 50 minutes. Well, we might be able to uh, do a little bit more damage with uh, these torpedo bombers. Well, let's, let's set it right over this way. There we go. So we'll take those torpedo bombers. So... Time on target, landing time. Yep, that's still good. So we're just going to go straight into launching that. And then carry division five. Yeah, these two also have some planes back. But they're pretty far south. Yeah, they won't be able to make it there and back in time. They'll be landing at dusk. So I'm not going to risk that. Carry division eight. Same thing. Carry Division 11, yeah, same thing. All right, so we're not going to launch any more strikes from there. But our uh, other group, with the Invincible, they can launch a strike, so that's what they're going to do. All right, we knocked out one of their destroyers with a magazine hit. Pretty sure this Hindenburg is going to be out of the fight. Yeah, she's lost all of her turrets, and she's on fire. This Hindenburg should be down soon, too. We've got a nice-looking set of torpedoes heading her way, so that should finish things off. And how's the Vondertan doing? Yeah, she is completely stripped as well. So let's... Uh... Oh, man. Look at all those hits. So many 17-inch hits on the Vondertan. She is definitely not having a good day. All right, we're going to turn... Uh, back towards the Kron Princess over here, and I'm actually going to tell the Juggernauts to hold fire for 10 minutes so that we can save our ammunition for ships that are still fighting. How are these guys doing? Yeah, they'll finish off that Hindenburg and we'll do some more damage to those. How's Revenge doing? Okay. Rodney, she's also doing okay. Yep. Graf Spay is sinking. Good eyes now. Uh, she might be doing something. No, she's not. She's just sitting there. Probably sinking. And then same thing with this Hessen. She's out. So Rodney is safe for now. 
Although I... Yep, Conan Galibert isn't doing anything, and this other Conan Galibert isn't doing anything. And that Braunschweig is still... Nope, Braunschweig isn't pointing her guns at anything useful, so I guess she's not fighting. How's this Conan Galbert? Medium damage on fire, so she's not down yet. And we still have a few more ships trying to escape to the south. So we'll turn the uh, Revenge around right now. She's taking quite a bit of uh, damage, but she still has functional secondaries. And the Indivisible is doing plenty of good work as well. Crown Prince just got hit by three torpedoes. Which one was that? Oh. Well, that was airstrike damage there. No hits this time. But we're going after a battle cruiser. Which is actually a Koenig Albert. Okay. Keep going. And she got hit. Good. How are we doing on those Hindenburgs? Heavy damage on fire. Heavy damage on fire. Yeah, those guys are definitely quite happy with that. I think they're done. Let's see if we can get these juggernauts into the south. But I think our uh, battle fleet has this pretty well out and under control. Oh, hang on. Somebody just took a pass-through hit and reported a fire. Yeah, uh, looks like the Indivisible is on fire now, and she's up to a level two. Okay, time to start moving her out of the way. We'll turn her south, and we're going to reduce speed. Just out of curiosity, how's Iron Duke and Rodney doing? Still fire level three, still fire level two. Why are you moving at five? I want you getting out of the fight, not moving into the fight. And we are starting to see some more airplanes in the area. Indivisible is now up to a level three fire. Yeah, we're going to tell you to hold fire. And reduce speed even more. We'll put you down at six knots. That should be good enough. And you guys don't need to shoot that Vondertan anymore. She is most definitely sinking. So let's shift your divisional target to that uh, brown fig, maybe? And we'll also order flotilla attack from uh, this group as well. Oh, that's interesting. Do you want to adjust the final strike target location for the torpedo bombers? Nice. Well, that's very interesting. That didn't used to be a feature. Okay, so let's do a quick double check for a new strike location. I want these guys striking right over there. Okay. Looks good to me, and let's continue. Oh, Inconsiderable is hit by a torpedo. You know what? Sure, we can pick up survivors. How's Inconsiderable doing? Yeah, she's doing okay. Oh, she just got torpedoed by the Louie. I think we're going to have to have a uh, talk with some of our uh, some of our torpedo gunners. This is not the first time this has happened. Uh, 
And she just got hit by a second one. Good job, guys. You're killing our own ships. Detach or manual control, reduce speed. And let's get you out of here. And you know what? Also, ceasefire. Pretty sure these uh, Hindenburgs are not coming back anytime soon. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, do we want to pick up the survivors? You know what? Yeah, we'll just say pick up all the survivors. More torpedo hits. We'll circle around and we'll try and finish off that Kron Prince there. Oh, hang on. We got more torpedoes heading in. Dodge, please. Okay, at this point, I think we need to start uh, slowing down and disengaging. So I'm going to turn off the flotilla attack order. And we're going to start seeing about reforming. And we're going to drop speed down to, uh, let's go with 10 knots. Well, that's annoying. I try to push a button to type in the speed that I want and it skips ahead a turn. Okay, Inconsiderable is disengaging due to battle damage, so we're not going to bring her up to 10 knots. Indivisible is also disengaging. Revenge will turn you back up towards the fight. Okay, and we'll just keep going at this point. Yep, here we go, foul weather. Well, all things considered, not a bad turn. I do believe that the German fleet has ceased to exist. And now I need to find my battle cruiser so I can withdraw my flotilla attack orders. Where'd you go? Was this it? No. Are these it? No. Where's my battle cruiser with the flotilla attack order? You know what? There's an easy way to do this. We'll just go down the list. No. That's not what I want. Okay, light cruisers, light cruisers. Battle division. Ah, that's not it. And that's not it. And that's not it. That's not it. Come on. Well, I know something around here has it. I just have no idea what. Okay, keep going. Let's get out of here. Turn you guys back down. We can pick up the uh, game speed a little bit now, though. 
Once the fight is basically over. Oh, there we go. Okay, withdraw that flotilla attack and turn us around. And we'll just reduce speed to 10 knots there as well. And that should get all of our major fleet elements out of here. Keep going. There we go, there's our strike approaching targets. No idea what they're going to hit, but they're going to do some sort of damage. There we go, three going after bombardments. And nothing significant there. Oh wait, hang on, we got a hit. Let's see how our uh, ships are doing. Whoa, Iron Duke. Why is your fire spreading? That is unacceptable. Get that fire back under control. Do I need to send other ships to assist? I wish that was an option in this game. Unfortunately, it's not. This game does model a lot of interesting stuff, but one ship helping another ship at sea? Not really a thing in this. We can't take ships under tow. We can't provide damage control assistance. Can't do firefighting. Can't do flood control. This engine does have its limits. All right, keep going. Come on, Iron Duke, please get her under control. I would very much like to, what? Did you just reattach? No, 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 absolutely not. How dare you? Oh, great. We had two ships that decided to reattach. And you are definitely not trying to cruise at 20 knots. You are all stop. Well, maybe one knot, but just to maintain steerage way, but that is it. I want you getting out of here and trying to get the fires under control. I just saw fires reduced by one, so that's something. Come on, let's get this fight over with. We've done our damage. We've sunk the entire German capital ship fleet. No more ships. Venus, what are you spotting? Well, that's something withdrawing. There we go, fire down to level three. Destroyer Ming's sights an unknown ship. That's a ship that's already, oh, that's picking up survivors. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what are you down to? Oh, come on. There we go, down to level two. Outstanding. And we might actually get this down to level one. Huzzah! And then it spreads. And Polaris spots someone picking up survivors. Nope, we'll let them do that. Come on, Iron Duke, please get that under control. Reduced by damage control level three. Weren't you just at level two a little bit ago? There we go, down to level one. And our carrier fleet has been so busy recovering and launching cap that they've never been able to get close to the fight. Here we go, no opposing ships are in sight. Scenario length has reached. The scenario is over, finally. Oh, that's unfortunate. Matchless survived their first encounter with a torpedo. But a second one was too much. And there we go. Last ride of the German fleet is over. With a loss of all battleships and half of their battle cruisers, and we fortunately escaped. Wow. Only one destroyer lost, and that was the one we lost to a submarine event. 
Well, there we go. That is incredible. Well, let's call this to a close. And there we go. They only give me two prestige for that? Bah, humbug. Look at those victory points. <laughs> All right, and that will be the Battle of Texel. Well, I'm pretty sure the uh, German people are not happy about that loss. But I am quite happy. And there we go. Blockade is firmly enforced. German Navy has essentially ceased to exist. And I think we will call our episode to a close right here. Until next time, I'm Katori87, signing off.